mess lady here. And one piece. That's good. There's Barry. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's stuff we need to put in between the batteries and these guys. So, okay, so these guys came in early and installed the inverter and the panel. This is the sub-panel. We got a raceway here. And we're going to put the batteries down here. So let's see how this goes. Should it go pretty well? It's going to go great. <laughs> Okay, we got the compression plates. Oh, so place. we don't even need. Sorry. The, these are um, the compression plates are kind of hand tight right now, kind of just getting everything square, putting in the threaded rods to compress the plates. Okay. We'll keep everything loose, kind of hand tight. Get the batteries in. Do we want to put the um, the uh, here right. in the battery room? We have the Master O'Connor. So we got um, setting up the bus bar connections now, putting in all the cells. Um, and the configuration we have here is a 16S 2P. And what that means is we're putting two cells in parallel right here. So you can see this is the negative side, that's the plus side. These two cells are connected in parallel there. And then they connect in series to the next two cells that are in parallel. So the power path kind of looks like that. So this will be the most negative term terminal. The most positive terminal will be over here. And we'll power it up to the inverter through the raceway. Pretty cool? Pretty cool. Here we go, getting there. Getting the last battery in. 32 batteries. Let's get the polarity right. Get this module. 28 kWh right of storage. Cool. Very That's nice. nice. Yeah, look at that. We're getting there. So I'm putting these um, little rubber gasket things on the edge just to have a smoother, softer surface for compression. These compression plates keep the cells all together. So when they get fully charged, they, they want to expand, but the compression plates will hold them in. Alright, last panel, last panel, last battery. We're solar guys. So we're solar we're guys. But it's a cell. Batteries are exactly like solar, except in every way that they're different. <laughs> <laughs> That's a did, thing did you, did you, of beauty. So there's the battery room in there. <clears throat> we're trenching here. Here's our little makeshift fridge. Going over there to the main panel <clears throat> and the meter. Yeah. One, one, two, and the neutral back there. Got it. Okay, and then those go, yeah, those they, three grow, go in here. Green, yeah. And this is the green that goes with fish it. Fish through the pipe. We're feeding the fish. Feeding the fish. It's fish feeding time. What kind of fish are you, you going to catch? We're trying to catch some we're good. Yeah, albacore. We're, good. <laughs> we're trying to catch some abercrombie some, fish. Some, <laughs> some abercrombie and fish. <laughs> some cargo shorts? Gotta feed the fish. <laughs> Yeah, that blade on you. Yeah, too much, you know. So, what we're doing here is the main panel That's right good. there. That's good. Um, we're gonna do a whole house backup. So, we actually have to bring all of the circuits from this panel over to there um, in the battery room to get all those circuits into a sub panel. And we might leave a couple circuits on here. So. <clears throat> When the grid goes down, um, the sub panel inside here will pretty much back up all the circuits in the house. some of the cable cutting like and, su like and subscribe <laughs> here's our Welcome. solar breaker which we always put at the bottom yeah. so it feeds in the bottom and the grid feeds in the top evenly flow through the bus bar hmm. coming from both sides so we how does the 120 percent rule work you're allowing for that thing to heat up to that much amperage because you're assuming some of the power is going to go out through the loads you know rather than you're assuring that the there's a 
factor of safety in there so that yeah. it does get full load, the metal will be able to ha handle that. Mm -hmm. So, where's our There's a solar amp? conduit. Yep. So yep. We're, gonna, we're going out of 100 here? That's what the... Uh, Here's the solar array, five kilowatts with end phase inverters, IQ6. Okay, here we go. Um, put in all the bus bars, done everything hand tight. And I've added in the sense wires that will be used for um, the BMS. Kind of zip tied them, you gotta clean them, get them cleaned up. And I'll go into the BMS here. Take time now, please. That way. Um, so now I'm actually tightening the oh, compression plates on. over here because this is what's going to compress the cells and make sure they don't expand over time. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so we got all the battery cells in, we have all the bus bars on, and I just tightened up the compression plates. So you can see this is fairly tight now. Um, tightened from both ends, try to tighten all these evenly. Um, so now these compression plates are compressing the cells a bit, not squishing them, but holding them um, so they can't expand. So now that um, these are on pretty tight, uh, we still have to tighten up these um, the strut nuts and make sure that those are connected in okay. And then we're gonna drill it into the ground so it doesn't move. So next up is we have some battery uh, or BMS um, stuff to build. Let's do it. Okay, ending for the night. We got pretty far today, um, able to build up the battery packs, attach all the bus bars, attach all the BMS wiring. I was able to get the BMS to turn on, all the cell voltage connections are good, um, but there's some BMS configuration stuff to figure out, um, which I'm too tired to do tonight. So we'll pick it up in the morning. All right.